Hello, my name is John Antonelli, and this is my presentation for Empathy CSL 6.3. Uh, today we'll talk a little bit about the application of empathy throughout the Bible, uh, examples of it, and uh, ultimately how it ties into neuroscience and the applications of neuroscience with examples of the Bible. Uh, throughout the Bible we have tangible examples of an eye for an eye, such as Matthew 5.38. Um, not exactly an empathetic response. Uh, however, if we look through the Bible, we can find a multitude of examples on how to live a proper and true life, and it functions as a framework, not just a collection of stories. Now, the example that I found in the Bible I'd like to focus on today would be uh, in John 11:35, 35, uh, the story of Lazarus. The, the quote that sticks with me is, he wept. Two simple words, such a powerful statement. Uh, he wept. Now, the story of Lazarus, as we well know, uh, Jesus was confronted about his friend Lazarus uh, dying. And he told his disciples, in two days we'll march to Judea and uh, we'll, we'll see my friend, we'll see our friends, and we'll see our family, and uh, we'll, we'll heal him, we'll, we'll keep him safe. He, he will not lie, he will not die. Now, after two days, they marched on, and when they arrived in Judea, they were greeted by Martha, and were informed that Lazarus had been entombed for four days. Uh, this this kind of such a blow to Jesus. Uh, he, he he did not weep at this time, but he he asked for Mary, uh, Lazarus' sister, and uh, Mary was currently being consoled by the Jews of Judea, and when he met with her, they took him to the tomb and when he arrived at the tomb seeing the stone closed door he wept as it said in John 11:35, he wept two simple words now this could be an example of emotional contagion or mirror neurons and Jesus was reflecting his emotions based off of what he saw from Mary and Martha but I think it's something deeper I, I truly believe this is the, the pinnacle of uh, empathy an example of empathy Jesus, knowing full well Lazarus wasn't going to lie in his grave, knowing full well he would raise Lazarus from the dead, he wept. That's such a powerful statement. He wept. He he took into himself the pain that Mary and Martha were feeling. He took into himself the pain everyone was experiencing when Lazarus had fallen. He wept. Now, it, again, it could be an example of mirror neurons. He's around all this emotional situation where everybody's crying, everybody's in a time of mourning, and he could have been overwhelmed by that. He, his emotions become what their emotions are. But I, I truly think it's just the ultimate ex example of empathy. He took it upon himself. He took it deep inside his heart and soul to empathize with this family that they lost Lazarus they lost their family they lost their brother and he wept now, I think if we can take that in our own lives use that as an example weep at the side of our brothers and sisters currently I work as a nurse in critical care as ICUs and COVID pandemic I've taken great pleasure in this class in learning how to sit by my brothers and sisters that I don't know and weeping with them. Some people we can save. Some people we have the ability of modern science to, to make better. But ultimately many have fallen. But to have the ability and looking at the example of Jesus to kneel down with these family members and feel their pain with them. Uh, I can't ask for a more gratifying opportunity than to try to walk in those shoes. Now, Jesus ultimately rose Lazarus from the dead. He brought him back. He told the family members he would not lie. He would not be dead. And Lazarus came back. But that example of empathy, taking that time to cry and allow others to cry with him, to feel that pain and suffering, I, I think empathy... Is possibly one of the strongest emotions and best connections we could ever make with anyone. And I hope I can continue to learn after this class and continue to draw on these lessons throughout the Bible and hopefully become a better nurse and a better person and 
be able to better serve my brothers and sisters in this world. Um, thank you for your time and uh, have a blessed day.